What swimwear company known for its skimpy men's bathing suits is also the sponsor of the U.S. diving and swimming teams? Chris. Speedo. Speedo. What magazine's 1998 swimsuit issue featured Heidi Klum on its cover? Sports Illustrated. Very tough question. Good for you. In 1960, black sit-ins at segregated lunch counters started in Greensboro in this state. Chris. What is North Carolina? Correct. What is the term for a statement written by a Supreme Court justice who disagrees with the majority decision? Chris. Dissent. Very good. Since 1869, how many Supreme Court justices serve at any one time? Nine. Very good, very good. Fonzie lived above the Cunningham's garage in this long-running sitcom. Chris. What is Happy Days? Right. Also known as oviducts, what two ducts lead from the ovaries to the upper part of the uterus? Chris. The fallopian tubes. Very good, very good. Jesus fed thousands of people with seven loaves and fishes on the shore of this sea. R Chris. What is Galilee? Yes. What's the term for a cell formed by the fusion of the male and female gametes before it divides and becomes an embryo? A zygote? Very good, very good. On his show, Kathy Kinney plays Mimi, a contentious co-worker in blue eyeshadow. Chris? Who's Drew Carey? Drew Carey, that's good for 300 more. In Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, what was the name of Scrooge's late partner? Chris. Marley. Very good, very good. In the 60s, this character was Camp Henderson's new recruit from Mayberry. Rick. What's the Andy Griffith show? No. Chris? Who's Gomer Pyle? Gomer Pyle, yes, he was the recruit. What Dickens novel depicts the sad life of a girl who lives with her father at the Marshall C. Debtors Prison? Little Dorrit. Whoa, that's amazing. Hyatt Hotel designer John Portman revived these Roman inner courtyards on a grand scale. Chris? What are atria? Yes. In what U.S. state do the people of Sheboygan celebrate July 4th with the annual Great Cardboard Boat Regatta? Chris? Wisconsin. <laughs> yes, you got it. <laughs> Concert hall designers study the architectural branch of this science of sound. Chris. What is acoustics? Yes. The annual Oxford and Cambridge boat race takes place on what British river? The Thames? Yes, very good. Harry, Henry, Jesse. Chris. What is James? Yes. What furry mammal with a duck-like bill and poisonous spurs lives in the rivers of Australia and Tasmania? Oh. <laughs> Chris. The platypus. Yes, very good. In May of 1805, Scannon, a Newfoundland, saved this expedition from a charging buffalo. Chris. What's the Lewis and Clark expedition? Right. In what southeastern Australian state will you find the city of Sydney? New South Wales. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This element, chemical symbol V, was named after the Scandinavian goddess of beauty. Chris. What's vanadium? Right. During World War II, what young girl hid from the Nazis in an attic with her family and kept a diary that survived the war? Yes, Chris? Anne Frank. Yes. In 1996, this Howell poet released a CD called The Ballad of the Skeletons. Chris. Who is Ginsburg? Allen Ginsburg, yes. Now a museum, the Anne Frank House is located in what city? Amsterdam. <laughs> this world leader's letters from a Czech prison to his wife Olga were published in 1983. Chris. Who's Havel? Right. In music, name the interval that embraces a span of eight diatonic tones. Stephen, just kidding. Chris. Octave. Very good. This world leader and author of The Little Red Book was also a poet. Chris. Who's Mao Tung? Yes. What musical term describes the tonal interval between adjacent black and white piano keys? A half step. Yes. In 1912, tenor Tita Rufo made his American debut as this Verdi hunchback jester. Rick. Uh, who's Quasimoto? No. Chris. Who's Rigoletto? Rigoletto, yes. What disease is characterized by coprolalia, the compulsion to utter obscenities? Chris? Tourette's syndrome. Yes. In Robert Browning's Pippa Passes, God's in this place, all's right with the world. Chris? What is his heaven? That's it. What famous Rudyard Kipling poem includes the lines, by the living God that made you, you're a better man than I am? Chris? Gunga Din. Yeah, you're wow. Chris. You're smart. You want, must have went to like college or something, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so how right. do you do? Problem for you, though, is Ben's smart, too, and he got eight. All right? That's the number you gotta beat. Are you prepared? 
As well as I'll ever be. 60 seconds, 10 questions. Let's begin. In what war did the Battle of Verdun occur? World War I. Yes. In what part of the eye are the rods and cones located? In the retina. Yes. What company introduced frozen TV dinners in 1954? Swanson. Yes. What Democratic congressman was U.S. Speaker of the House from 1977 to 1987? Tip O'Neill. Yes, the 1978 film The Last Waltz chronicled the farewell performance of what rock group? The band. Yes, what is the name for a low bed on casters that can be rolled under another bed for storage? A futon. No, what was the name of George Washington's home in Virginia? Mount Vernon. Yes, who wrote the novel Sophie's Choice? Styron. Yes, Tripoli is the capital of what North African country? Libya. Yes, what is the common term for a polygon with six sides? A hexagon. Yes, you are a smart bastard. Come on, I got mine. Chris, you are a wizard player. I bow to your superior knowledge. I'm humbled. Give me some stock tips about the Silicon Valley and then go away and don't ever come back. Take the money and leave. You've done enough damage for one day. And we're out of time until next time when I give three more people a chance to win Ben Stein's money.